Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. And today we're going to be looking at the almost the last stage in the all processing chain in factorization. And the last block involved here is called the crystallizer, and that's this little guy here. Um, as you can see, stick, string and a receptacle which looks a lot like a cauldron and lo and behold the recipe is a cauldron a string and a stick so an extremely cheap recipe and this will allow you to increase your your ingot output from your ores um, by processing or reprocessing some of the reduced chunks that you get from uh, from the pre previous processes now if we have a look here, um, the interface, as you can see, is six input slots around the outside there with one uh, output slot in the middle. Um, it also has a progress bar down the bottom, which you can click to get the recipes. And if we do click that, we can see the very first one it shows up is something that I'm not sure is actually able to be crafted yet maybe I don't know how to make invariant drops so maybe one of you guys can tell me how to do that uh, but if we flick along we can see something else using invariant drops a heat hole I'm assuming these are possibly items for future future recipes and future additions to uh, factorization then we see we can put a lime dye in with a bucket of milk and this bottom slot here is your your liquid slot uh, I, th I think that's where your liquids have to go I could be completely wrong um, if you do that you can get a slime ball so if you're having real trouble finding slimes this is a way to make slimes slime ball um, does take quite a time quite a while to make those so bear that in mind and then we have our uh, reduced chunk processing as you can see you put in one reduced copper chunk you've got a hundred and fifty percent chance to get a crystalline copper out and then that crystalline copper can then just be smelted as you would expect it to be now so one thing to note though is you can put one chunk in actually let's try and put a sulfuric acid can go in any of the slots by the looks of it um, so you put your liquid in, you put your chunks in, and as you can see, the heat starts rising. You do need to apply heat to it. Um, that's it's important to note if you've, if you've not done that, wondering why it's not working. You do need heat applied, um, otherwise it's not going to get going. Now, as you can see, I put the sulfuric acid in, and we've got liquid in there. You can see the acid now it will do one at a time or if you fill all the slots it will process up to five reduced chunks in one go and over here I have uh, a single reduced chunk just to show you and on this side we have five on the go and right at the back here we have the lime dye and the milk now this process takes about 20 minutes um, so it's not something that's going to happen extremely quickly and if you were going to want to automate this process to get the most out of your ores then you are going to want multiple crystallizers uh, definitely definitely want multiple crystallizers you probably only ever do it when you've got um, a healthy supply of of ingots already uh, so that you weren't in a a big hurry for uh, for whatever it was you you were processing. Um, now the good thing about the all processing and factorization is you can stop it at any time and just get your ingots out. So uh, these reduced tin chunks, you can shove them straight into a furnace and you can get um, you can get a chance to get well you you get your tin ingots out. Um, that's the two different recipes so this is just a way of getting an extra 50% more out of your uh, reduced chunks which as you'll remember um, you can get more than one reduced chunk out of a single ore anyway so you can end up with multiple 
ingots out of one ore. Um, anyway, what we'll do is we'll just leave this uh, sit for a while and we'll let this process and we'll see exactly what we can get out of uh, each of these. So we've got five iron chunks in there, one in there and five tin chunks in there. We'll see what we can get out of this uh, once it's finished processing. Okay guys, we've uh, we've waited out the 20 minutes or 20 minutes roughly. Um, let's have a look at uh, what we've got. Uh, I haven't looked at them yet so we'll just see. Uh, this uh, reduced tin chunks is still going. Um, obviously didn't wait quite long enough for that one. Uh, this one, we had one reduced iron chunk in there and we've made two crystalline iron and on this one we had five reduced iron chunks and we've got seven crystalline iron so as you can see you can either process one at a time or you can do five at a time obviously it makes a lot more sense to do five at a time and at the back here we have our lime dye which is it's not quite finished yet so let's just give that a few more minutes Okay, we've left it a little bit longer now, and let's see what we've got now. Ah, you see our one lime die has actually given us two slime balls. And you know what, it appears that this, um, the liquids in these don't appear to be uh, being used up. It's just to uh, provide a bath for it. And actually that's really cool, you can see there's uh, the crystalline ingot, or was hanging in there. Have I taken that out? No. It's actually, uh, you can see it growing, which is really cool. So, there we go. That's the, um, that is the crystallizer. I hope uh, it's been enlightening. Certainly, the fact that you can do five into one in one go is certainly not something that you would immediately think was, was doable. Um, and another rather interesting slime ball recipe so you can actually do a, an awful lot without actually having to go and fight anything um, other than that guys thanks for watching uh, please hit the subscribe button above if you uh, enjoyed it if you want to see more of these factorization spotlights or in fact any other mod spotlights block spotlights I'll be trying to cover as much as possible. I've got a lot of blocks to cover for both factorization and railcraft, and there's other mods that people would uh, would like me to take a look at as well that I'm desperately trying to keep up with. Um, also, uh, follow me on Twitter and over on Twitch as well. Twitter is the best place. That kind of brings everyone, all, all of my areas together. Uh, YouTube and Twitch, you'll find out when my videos go live and also uh, when I go uh, live on Twitch as well so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time